again, I'm back with a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm not over ring pours yet. I'm still having a good time. This is my OXO Good Grips Omelette Turning Spatula, which spreads paint better than anything I've tried in the year plus that I've been doing this. So I'm going to finish what I started and make sure you can see that I'm using a nice heavy coat because the last time I did a ring pour, I thought that the paint underneath it is probably what makes it move so well. And I did not have enough in my opinion. So now I'm going to try and use more and see how that works. I don't suppose it matters all that much about anything here except for any anomalous lumps and I don't see any right now. I'm going to take my white spatula and put it in the bucket. I'll put everything in the bucket that's a tool that needs to rest. Get clean. Now, I used, where did I use it? I used this thing, weird, with a long spout. I have some theories about that. I have some theories about ring pours. In any case, we're going to proceed and hope that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to not fill this, obviously. I'm going to start with white in the bottom and hopefully have enough white to continue. And I've taken the tops off of all of my squeeze bottles and I've thought about running the paint down the edge rather than squeezing it directly in. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. This is a color shift by Folk Art that I would usually be very judicious with and not want to waste any. And I did shake it, but it looks like it could use a little help. You know what? I'm going to... No, I am. That's my favorite color. That is a Folk Art... Whoops, I buried the black. That's a Folk Art Neon uh, Multi-Surface Acrylic, it's called. I'm going to go a little light on that. I'm getting already more paint than I want in here. But that just means we can do it again, right? Right down the side. I didn't put any gold in there. I don't know how that's going to work. Being shy with my colors is my usual. This is not that. i got to know what's going on. And the only way for me to find things out is to try them. So that is what I am doing. Okay, that or that. How about this? I kind of feel like I should have like almost dropped it right in there. But we got what we got. And I'm going to take a moment and put the tops back on a couple of these really big top bottles because I don't want any disasters to happen. And that will take me a moment. <laughs> And I don't have pause on my filming equipment, which is just basically the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you, and then I'm going to bring my canvas back. Now, I kind of think if I can get this to work at all, and I'll get something out of it, I'm sure, then I'm going to stay pretty much in the middle and tip. I want to go backwards. That is a lot of paint. And I so wish I had used some more black in between. I was originally going to try and keep my colors pretty simple. It looks like I'm just not going to use much of that at all. But the good news is that I can cover that with something and it will stay fresh very nicely. We have 15 minutes left. It's not the most interesting, but I like the colors and that was my intention. I did try my edge catcher yesterday, which is just a clear plastic thing that I put up against the edge of the canvas. When paint is going to flow over, I stop the paint from flowing over, and if I give it a little bit of a, a shove back, then it uh, pushes the paint that was going over back onto the canvas. And with any luck at all, I'll be able to show you that. Or not! <laughs> now the whole trick to these ring pours, from what I understand, is going slow and that is not my thing. I'm not good at going slow. But yesterday we managed to make a fairly de decent interesting first one, a 14 by 14 inch canvas with different kind of colors for me than usual uh, in 15 minutes. But like I said it was a smaller canvas and while I was doing it I did, ooh those are cool, 
while I was doing it, I did notice that there were stages that I liked along the way with some negative space. So this, today I'm going to try and be a little more conscious of my negative space and see what I can see. I know I'm going too fast, way, way, way too fast because I'm getting those rivulets. But that's okay. I'll survive it. I want, wow, picked up, either we picked up a bunch of white. I think I had this thing issue yesterday. I think the white is the one ring I managed to remember to add. I don't know what I'm going to talk to you about. Let me think. <laughs> oh yeah, we just hit 9,000. Uh, we're over 9,000 actually. Thank you all you subscribers. And thank you very much to the contributors because I need to go buy like 11 different kinds of paint really soon. And um, that'll be a huge help when I do that. Also to the lady who complained that my work surface needed to be cleaned up, I replaced the tile, see? <laughs> So, there. I do listen to you. I listen to all of you, and if you have questions for me, please go right ahead and ask, because I check often, and I answer often, and I'm happy to do so. Okay, we got some interesting stuff going on, and we got some sort of semi-interesting stuff going on, but I'm not sure how I feel about any of this quite yet. I'm loving the color. There's no doubt about that for me. I just never quite got the smaller section down on the side to do what I wanted. I think there's bound to be tipping tricks. Like, I now understand why people do the, uh, the waterfall ring pours, because that would change the trajectory, today's big word, um, change the direction that things are headed. I think that's got to go there. That's what edge catchers do. And I'm just going to let that keep running down there. And then I'm going to push it back on because I can't think of a better thing to do right there. Oh, wrestling. We're wrestling again. Oh, well. And I'm going to... Oh, good. What would it be without rain? Yep, I think I heard a few drops on the canopy. Yeah, I think it rains here every single day. We're in Florida, just 40 minutes above Tampa. There's a gallery here at the house. <laughs> if you ever want to come visit, you're welcome. Just uh, give us a call. The phone numbers are around in different places. I don't know if my theory about the white paint is working as well as I was thinking it was going to, but it's still sort of working. And I'm willing to put up with that. Uh... Yeah, we got some stuff going on. <laughs> Remember, I'm a newbie. I haven't been doing this very long. And I am going to wrestle with my edge catcher. And I am going to let it run. And I guess so you're finally seeing somebody who's <laughs> incapable <laughs> of going slow. And what happens when that happens. And I'm sure that the alternatives are just as good, if not better. But um, we learn by playing. We learn by experimenting. And I'm not minding throwing some patterns back on. Also, I get, the, I get the edges covered. Looks like I got more than that. Okay, so now it's time to think about this. What do I want to do? Do I want to touch that up? Yes, I do. I've got good coverage on most of my edges. I am really liking what's going on here. Looks like I could use a little white over there. I have a nice, let's see. Let's use my small Hobby Lobby diagonal, which is actually on my Amazon influencer page. Um, I couldn't find the other two. The other two being my favorite flat front Hobby Lobby, my favorite round front Hobby Lobby. About five bucks, more or less, depending. What am I going to do with that? What am I doing with that? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'm just playing fast and loose with my pattern. It's not bothering me to do that either. I give myself permission. I like it. I like it. I could add more paint. I don't think I'm going to add more paint. I don't know if I really want to, uh, if I want to do anything. But what I want is 
to have some paint that's nowhere near where I want it to be somewhere else. <laughs> and I don't really have the faith in myself right at this moment to make this pattern come down here. So that leaves me right where I am. And my torch is right behind me. Let's see what happens. Oh good. Hello bug. Goodbye bug. Hello paint. Goodbye paint. We have all kinds of little white speckles. I don't know, it's, it's a little ordinary, but I'm loving the color. Looks like I still got some stuff to learn, but I like it anyway. We could rain X and see what happens. <laughs> That's my answer to everything. We could rain X it. Okay, well, I'm not going to fix the edges of the canvas that are supposed to be white while you're here. I'm probably just going to do something with them after. I want to do something. I don't know what it is. I think we're just going to have to deal with this now. And if I don't like it tomorrow, I will add another pour on top of it. Or whenever it's cured enough to do that. So, for right now, we got seven minutes left. I don't think anything... Well, you know what? I have this piece of medical tubing that I use, like, I used to use my bendy straw. So I'm going to blow some stuff out and see what happens. moments like that I miss the music. <laughs> Dead silence. I also have all this color in here and none of that turquoise came out. And I just want to see what will happen. Can't help it. Got to see. I guess some of it did. But something tells me a little here and there might not hurt. And I'm a rule breaker anyway. You know that about me. So there's also some green gold in there. And I'm just going to pretend like that was always there. I'm not sure that helped anything up there. But let some of that go down over the edge. Which really brings me to my next point. Since most of my paint is in squeeze bottles, with some exceptions, some older stuff, and it's all good, so long as you're willing to mix it up once in a while, you can keep your paint a long time. Um, my point was, I could come in here and just really add some interesting things if I so chose. Like I am now, sort of. Because I think I'm more than a three-color girl. <laughs> Go figure. And a little bit of something to zhuzh it up is not hurting my feelings. And somewhere down the road, I'm going to figure out what I want to do with these and combine ring pours with something else. That looks like I could swipe some stuff out if I wanted to. I don't know how that would work. I need some more, I need something else going on in here to make me happy. That's why I'm still playing. I mean, it's not bad, and of course I love the color. <laughs> Colors. And I haven't pulled out my bamboo skewer, and I could do that too. See what that does for anything. Because if I can't have color, maybe I can have texture. Pattern? That's what I'm looking for. That's the word. Pattern. Yeah, I like that better already. I am so not willing to settle for stuff I'm not super happy about. Why bother doing it if you're not going to have something you really like out of it? But with fluid art, you can 
always come back when it's dry and pour a whole nother painting right on top. If you've used GAC 800, because the GAC 800 keep, prevents things from cracking. And because agitating, yeah, that has happened, that's making me happy. Let's see what happens down here, because we have all that white in underneath. So if we agitate the paint, we should get something interesting, something else interesting happening. We won't know unless I play. And I'm happier already. <laughs> Don't think I'm that hard to please, but I needed something else happening in here. And you needed to see me do it, just so you know what will happen. Why not? Not so sure about that. But I'm not done yet. I got three minutes left. I don't, I hope that wasn't out of your view. You know, I really do like this better. Sometimes I worry that I shouldn't trust myself, but then, <laughs> then I remember I'm me, yeah, and I can, I do, I trust myself. But I've been an artist my whole life. Raised in a family of artists. I like it way better now. Go figure. That's just just a few little tweaks here and there, and it made me happy. It doesn't keep me from wanting to throw some gold or a different color turquoise in there or something. No. And there is no gold in there. So if I start with that, I'm in trouble. I think silver would have looked good in there. I kind of like it. And I got all this other paint, which is going to do something else entirely, hopefully. Let's give it one more go round and hope I press the record button. That little tiny itty bitty teeny weeny millions of cells popping up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That makes me think the Rain-X trick would have worked some. I got one minute left. I have on my page, for those of you who can afford to help me out, a Patreon icon on the top of my YouTube header and a link in the description. And the same for a PayPal link in the description and an icon on the header. And so I want to thank again all the people who have helped me keep going because, sorry about the head. I am trying to keep my head out of the way, by the way, for all of you guys who keep telling me. It's, it's you know, you're sort of here by invitation, and <laughs> I didn't used to think, you know, I'd ever be doing this in front of people, so I do the best I can, and I do try. That's cool. I want more of those. All right, well, I'm going to run out of time in a second. Try not to cook your paint. The reason I use a propane torch is because I had no luck with like four or five butane torches and you do need a torch. This is turning out really cool. Um, you do need a butane torch to make sure there are no bubbles in your paint. And also obviously it releases tons and tons of little cells, which I'm very happy about right now. That's pretty cool. It's not your typical ribbon pour, but that's also pretty cool. I have some paint on my edge catcher. And that's going on this side over here. That's pretty cool, too. Anyway, so it was lovely to be with you guys again. Doing this for you inspires the heck out of me to do it again. And, um, and this is an all-new gig. This is fun to play with. Not only is it fun to play with, I just i am compelled. <laughs> when I see other people do stuff, i got to try it. And I found out that I'm inspiring a few people to try some new stuff, and that's good. That's the timer, and that means you are gone. And if you're not gone, I'm going to check and make sure you can see what I can see. And Priscilla out for now, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're having fun painting, and I hope I helped. Yep, that's the whole painting. Have a good day. Later. Bye.